Ever since Jeffrey Epstein was arrested and killed himself in prison, all the men who ever associated with him have come under fire. No one more so than Prince Andrew, the one member of the royal family who everybody always forgets. <laughs> and this weekend, <laughs> Prince Andrew tried to defend his friendship with the convicted sex offender, and he gave the most royally out-of-touch defense we have ever heard. Prince Andrew speaking publicly for the first time about his relationship with now-deceased multimillionaire and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Do I regret the fact that he has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming? Yes. Unbecoming? He was a sex offender? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm being polite. I mean, in the sense that he was a sex offender. Wow. <laughs> first of all, I love British interviewers. She was like, I'm sorry, unbecoming. <laughs> Secondly, that is the most generous description of sex offender I have ever heard conducted himself in a manner that is unbecoming. This dude probably calls slavery a cruise with a big misunderstanding. <laughs> you know what's funny about this whole story, right? This whole story is that, like, all the people around the royal family were so pissed when Meghan Markle joined, right? I don't know if you remember, like, they were like, she's undignified. She likes media attention too much. Oh, we can't have Meghan Markle join the family. And now they're like, Meghan, do you think you could get some media attention to distract from this, please? <laughs> And this interview only got worse because none of Prince Andrew's explanations made any sense. In 2008, Epstein was convicted of soliciting prostitution from a minor. In 2010, just months after Epstein's sentence ended, the prince was seen in this video obtained by the Mail on Sunday, appearing in the doorway of Epstein's New York home. While he admits he stayed there for four days, he now says he came to end their friendship. But you were staying at the house of yes. a convicted sex offender. It was a convenient place to stay. <laughs> it was a convenient place to stay? I think there are more convenient places than a sex offender's house. <laughs> and also, really, this dude is gonna say the only reason he stayed at Epstein's house for four days is so that he could end their friendship? For starters, you don't go to someone's house to end a friendship. You just call them and ask them to pick you up from the airport, and then you never hear from them again, right? <laughs> That's it. Also, even if you are breaking up with your friend, it doesn't take four days, right? What was the schedule for that like? Monday, tell Jeffrey to never speak to me again. <laughs> Tuesday, don't make yesterday's mistake of playing PS4 with Jeffrey on his big screen TV. <laughs> Wednesday, okay, make sure you talk to Jeffrey before he lets you ride his motorcycle through the house. <laughs> Thursday, Jeffrey's a cool dude. I'm staying. <laughs> so, thanks to the Prince's interview, what was meant to be damage control has now turned into complete chaos for the royal family. Yeah. And I bet wherever the queen is right now, she's like, I knew I should have killed him instead of Diana. <laughs> All right, let's move on to another international story. Every year around Halloween, Americans brace themselves for stories about white people who want to be way more tan than they should be. But as we've learned recently, other countries in the world also deal with blackface and brownface scandals. I mean, just recently, Canada learned that they've already elected their first prime minister of color. They just didn't know. <laughs> and now, as we approach the Christmas season, the Netherlands is once again embroiled in their own blackface debate around Santa's Dutch magical helper, Black Pete. Anti-racism campaigners held protests throughout Holland on Saturday as the Dutch celebrated the arrival of St. Nicholas and his traditional yet controversial companion, Black Pete. Black Pete is usually portrayed by white people in black face paint, wearing frizzy wigs and red lipstick. It is criticized for being racist. We think that Santa Claus is a party for the people and that it should stay the way it is. That is why we are here. We want Schwarte Piet to stay black. This should not be a political affair, but just a nice party for all the people. Uh, okay. In case you're confused, here's what's going on. In the Netherlands, they have Santa, right? Just like everyone else. But they also have a character named Black Piet, a magical, magical helper who rolls with Santa Claus. And how it works is if kids are nice, Santa gives them presents, but if kids are naughty, Black Pete whips their ass. <laughs> Which you have to admit really raises the stakes for Dutch kids. <laughs> right? Imagine being a kid waiting up to hear Santa and his reindeer land on the roof, and then you look out your window and then this is a black dude with a baseball bat out there. 